In the Rhino Report tonight, after a local woman was killed, state leaders are now calling for some parks to be off limits to the homeless. ABC 10's Morgan Reiner covers all things politics and has a closer look at the controversial bill. So does this include the American River Parkway? Chris, the lawmakers behind the bill said it's technically in the eye of the beholder. The definition of what a special parkland is is a very broad one, but they wrote the bill specifically for the American Parkway, so it will be included. 20-year-old Emma Rourke left her Rancho Cordova home on a walk on January 27th. Five days later, investigators found her body in a secluded area near the American River tied up in a tent. Police say this man, 37-year-old Michaela Rawls, raped and murdered Rourke. This is where young Emma Rourke was brutally murdered. In this spot, lawmakers said it's time to clear out homeless camps along special parklands. With COVID the past two years, a lot of folks are getting out, riding bikes and walking, and they want to feel safe. And some folks don't feel safe. We've got to change that. Special parklands are defined in the bill as open spaces and natural preserves that have a heightened risk of damage from wildfire or other significant environmental degradation due to the unique and valuable environmental, agricultural, scientific, educational, and recreational resources located therein. It's not going to be easy because I guarantee you the advocates will come out and oppose it no matter what you do. But someone has to be the adult in the room and make adult decisions. Anthony Prince, the statewide attorney for the California Homeless Union, is the one ready to fight. These legislators, by introducing a bill like this, are tapping into the worst fears, the most prejudicial sentiments, the most divisive and lynch mob driven thinking that we've seen historically in this country. And we're not going to stand for it. And neither should the broad community. He said because of an existing court case, the bill is illegal. The ruling held that cities cannot enforce anti-camping ordinances if they do not have enough homeless shelter beds available for their homeless population. We have these rights. We're not going to have them taken from us without a fight. Assembly member Ken Cooley did acknowledge the legal challenge, which is why he says he's also proposing a $50 million grant program that counties and cities can apply for in order to help with some of these issues. The bill will be heard in its very first committee at the end of this month, Chris. Mm -hmm. This is a heated topic. Keep us posted on how that develops. Morgan, thank you.